Where does the word English come from? And what does it have to do with fishing hooks? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm Julian Northbrook, and this is Doing English. Do you ever wonder about the origin of words, that is, their etymology? I know that I do. A few months ago, I went to Manila in the Philippines on business, and I found out something very interesting about the name of their main language, Tagalog. The word Tagalog, I was told, comes from the word taga ilog, which means the people of the river. So the word Tagalog, as in the language, means the language of the people of the river. This got me to thinking, where does the word English come from? You might be tempted to think that the word English comes from the name of the country, England, but actually it's just as likely to be the other way around, that the word England actually comes from the word English, so that the country is actually the land of the people who speak English. Indeed, this does seem to be the case. One theory is that the word English is actually a corruption of the word Anglish, meaning the language of the Angles. The Angles being one of the Germanic Anglo-Saxon tribes who came over from around the 5th century, invaded and colonised Britain. These Germanic tribes came from the area that is now northwest Germany, West Denmark, and the Netherlands. And supposedly, or so the story goes, the Angles were called so because they came from the fish hook shaped area of Schleswig in the Jutland Peninsula. The word Angle being a derivative of the Indo European word Ang, meaning to bend, which later entered Old English as the word Angle, meaning fish hook. Which is, of course, why we still call fishermen anglers today, and a synonym for the word fishing is angling. So there we go. As surprising as it may seem, it could very well be that the word English originally stems from the word ank, the Indo-European word meaning to bend, which later became angle, fishing hook, which was also used to refer to the Angles, who, along with other Germanic tribes, came to Britain, bringing with them the seeds of the English language. Regardless of the origins of the word English, if you are living in the United Kingdom, plan to live in the United Kingdom, or are simply interested in British English and British culture, you are definitely going to want to check out my best-selling British English slash British culture course, British Stories. Because it is way easier just to show you what the course is all about rather than explain it to you in words, I'm giving away the first lesson for free. Just click on the link in the description or head over to BritishStories.com. So here's a question for you. What is the etymology, that is the origin of the name for your language? Tell us all about it in the comments. If you found this video useful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was boring as hell, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I, your beloved host, Julian Northbrook, will see you same time, same place, tomorrow for the next extraordinary video. Goodbye. For more videos related to the history of the English language, check out this playlist here. And if you've ever wondered just how many languages there are in the entire world, have a look at this video here.